Yeah, it's still safe with amazing grace. The album launched with our own boss and father of music, Samuel Boso. Good evening and Guess who I have with me? Yes, that is actually my. Uh, see, I'm your big fan. Oh. I'm your big fan. No, sir. Hello. Thank you. Good afternoon. Let me show you that I'm your big fan. Let me sing the latest. El Shaddai. You. Track one on my album. I said yes. Track one. Hey, so you were saying. Oh, yes. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> okay, no, the one I like is this one, though. The, the one with the three me pass, not that singing hallelujah. Nah, 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 nah. I forgive you, no problem. I have, said, have, I have said the, <laughs> fan, the fanship. fanship. Yes. Okay. okay, good evening, sir. And it's gospel reading. Now, well done. Good evening. <laughs> okay, sir, today is independence, and I can see it everywhere. I can see it. So, what can you say to Nigeria, your country? Nigeria, my country. God bless Nigeria. One of my friends is a lecturer. Hello, Nigerians. <laughs> yeah, but um, I always say we should work towards changing our mindsets because we are victims of our own mentality and it keeps dragging us backwards. The change we want to see is a change we have to effect up here first before we can see it out there. The change has to start with you. Okay, sir. Um, and what can you say worship is to you? To you, what what is worship? Worship is your general attitude of submission towards God, towards His greatness, towards His will. So you 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 can show your worship. You can you can exhibit your worship by the lifting of your hands and you know the bowing of your head and all that lying prostrate before God. But the real worship starts from the heart. So how do you feel when you hear the word of God, when you hear about God, you know, what goes through your mind? That determines whether you're worshiping or not. So worship is your general attitude of submission or surrender to the greatness of God, to the person of God, to who God is in your life. Or it, in general, you know, so. Yeah, that's actually, this is like a preaching section, as if we, we just released one, like we just dropped one. You know what, for this message, I'm actually advertising it. For this message, like us on Facebook, follow us, but don't worry, that's just it. Okay, sir, so we're just going to give you a brain tease in just one. Yeah. One. You know, you just, you know, see, you see this, you just released a message right now. It means you know the Bible. Okay, and you should help us out. You see us, we are confused. Only one question is confusing us. I was arguing with my boss and I'm like, this passage oh, is in the Bible and this is where it is. He said no. But let me tell you, uh, let me tell you so that you can help us fix where exactly it is in the Bible. It goes thus, it says, and thou shalt let sleeping dogs lie. Lest thy neighbor get angry with thee and hate thee. He said is in Uzziah. Me I say is in Deuteronomy. As we we argue in in fact, I don't know. Can you help us out? Hmm. I should say it again. Whether it's in Hosea or in Deuteronomy. In, you, you can you know you know the Bible very well. You can even know it's in another verse, but it sounds like what should be in the law in Deuteronomy. But I think he's in Hosea. Final answer. Okay, for the outcome of this, you can go to Gospel Reading to find this out. Thank you very much.